Meteorites are the only objects that we have left over from the formation of the solar system that haven't been altered and greatly changed by subsequent processes. So they are the key to studying how the solar system was formed. Robert Clayton unlocked some of the secrets of our solar system's formation through chemical analyses of these extraterrestrial objects. Our specialty was the measurement of the different isotopes of oxygen, oxygen being the element that is most abundant in all rocks, and it serves as a good fingerprint for identifying materials that come from one source or another source. At the same time Clayton's laboratory was investigating the chemical nature of meteorites, the Apollo program presented Clayton's laboratory with a new tool set of extraterrestrial rocks. It turned out that the oxygen in the moon looks identical to the oxygen in the Earth, so this allowed us to make a, a chemical connection between the Earth and the moon. The same year that the first uh, lunar samples came back, we had two very large meteorite falls. They were really terrific for opening our eyes as to the complications and the interesting things that took place in the early solar system. When we measured oxygen isotopes in those meteorites, we found patterns of isotopic behavior that was totally unanticipated. And it indicated that there was some kind of chemistry going on in the early solar system that is different from anything we had experienced on the Earth. Clayton theorized that photochemistry, reaction from the sun's ultraviolet light, was at play. The measurement of oxygen isotopes collected from the solar wind by the Genesis mission may hold new clues for Robert Clayton and for all about how our solar system was formed.